Hi, our topic for today is all about comparative anatomy. But before we proceed, I would like to show you two strips of paper with pictures on it. The first one is I labeled it as A. Kindly look at it. And the other one is labeled as B. Question is, which of these are homologous structures? And which of these are analogous structures? One hint of evolutionary concept is from the comparative anatomy. Comparative anatomy is the study of similarities and differences in the anatomy of different species. It is an important tool that helps determine the relationships between organisms and whether or not they share common ancestors. Anatomical similarities between organisms support the idea that these organisms evolved from a common ancestors. There are two major concepts of comparative anatomy. The first is homologous structures, structures from different species which have similar internal framework, position, and embryonic development. These structures may have same origin or ancestors but different functions. Examples of homologous structures are four limbs of dog, man, cat, bat, lizard, and a whale. Homologous structures may have the same origin or ancestors but different functions. This type of evolution is called divergent evolution. Divergent evolution is the splitting of an ancestral population into two or more subpopulations that are geographically isolated from one another. The second concept of comparative anatomy is analogous structures. Structures of unrelated species may evolve to look alike because the structure is adapted to the similar function. These structures are similar in function but different in origin. Examples of analogous structures are wings of birds, bats, and insects. What type of structures are in A and B? For letter A, the correct answer is homologous structures. These structures have the same internal structures but different in functions. On the other hand, in letter B, these structures are analogous structures. They have the same function but they are different in structures.